Okay, go. So again, let's do a quick uh, revision in, uh, on chapter seven, lesson two. Um, we guys learned about the three types of rocks. Can someone remind me of them? Me. Yes, raise your hand, Tanahi. Is this Tanahi? Yeah. Okay, yes, Tanahi. Can you tell uh, me the three types? But not all of them, yeah, but just mention their names. Igneous. Yes. Sedimentary. Yes. And metamorphic. Metamorphic, yes, well done. Okay, can uh, we have uh, Isil? Isil, can you tell me uh, how are igneous uh, rocks made? And uh, where do they come from? And under the ground or in the volcano. Okay, so they basically come from the magma or the melted rock. When the magma solidifies or becomes hard, they become rocks, which we call igneous. Okay, they could be on the surface of the earth, which we call extrusive. Uh, that means they um, they will uh, have more crystals. Today, guys, I promised I will show you the difference in crystals, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, yes, I will. Uh, wait, because we have people in the waiting room. Okay. Okay. So in here, guys, we can see the crystals. Just let me open in a full screen. Enable. Is it what? A real picture? A real picture? No, no, it's not a real picture. It's made by animation type. In here, he's showing you how the crystals that take longer time to cool down would have more crystals and how those who cool very fast or really fast will have smaller crystals. Okay, and then we'll see two pictures of two real rocks with different crystal sizes. Okay, and here we'll have this experiment first. Okay, okay. okay. So let's start. He's melting some uh, um, plastic. He's melting plastic in this uh, water uh, boil. He's, he's actually melting water. it with water bath. Do you know what water bath is? It's to put the ingredients no. you want yes. to melt inside uh, warm wa water, okay? So he's not yani, putting the plastic directly in the water. He's actually uh, melting it, but in a water bath, okay? But then he will take a sample. <laughs> yes? No, Mr. Hatt, it's my He got this. Yes, like those are two containers inside each other, okay? Yeah. Yes, the smaller but, one yeah, is yeah, the yeah, one that contains if you plastic. Can you continue if you plastic? Yes, he's he's no, he's no, melting no. the plastic by the water bath. Okay, guys, he's actually melting okay. the plastic not inside the water, not yani combined with the water, but the plastic is in a, a separate container. Okay, and he's putting this container inside the water that is really. Uh, hot, or he, he boiled it so much so it can melt the plastic. But now the plastic is in, in a separate container. I just want you guys to know that the, the plastic is not along with the water in here. Okay? So you can see in the picture here we have two con containers. Can you see? Let me zoom yes. in. Can you see that? We have two containers yeah. here. A container inside another one. Yes. The inner one, yes. The inner one is the one that contains the plastic. Okay, so let's again start from the beginning. Here is the plastic, here is the plastic before melting, and here is after melting. Okay, can you see that? Nope. Yes. yes. Okay, now we'll take a sample from this melted plastic. It's like the melting rock in here. So this is like the magma. It's an example of the magma. Of course, it's not real magma, but it's an example. So he have two slides of glass, one with ice under it and one without ice. Which one will cool faster, obviously? With ice. With the ice. one with ice, with the ice. one on the left. The ice. Yes, and the oh. one on the right takes longer time with to ice. cool down. Will take longer yeah. time to cool down. The one on the left, the one on the left with the ice, this one will represent the magma that cools on the surface of the earth because this one will cool faster because it has air and things to let her cool away way faster okay 
and the one on the right on the room temperature yes he represents it's the room um, temperature the igneous but, under the ground exactly but for the rocks ex exactly yeah how much for the rocks it's the one under the ground it takes longer time okay so let me that's... check if i have anyone in the waiting room first and then yes now let's see Look. under the microscope i know what will happen the yes plastic let's see under the okay. okay. Look under the microscope now. So we will examine the first one, the one with eyes, first. Okay. Can you see how the crystals are a lot, but they are small next to each other? Can you see that? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Let's yes. look at the next one. The one that cold without time. the eyes took longer time. Can you see the crystals now are big? Like we have like almost three crystals. Can you see that? Yeah. Yes. yes, and they are so big. Can you see? Yes, yes but they are uh, they uh, not a lot, not a lot of yeah, not, not a lot, a lot crystals. of crystals, yes, but they are big crystals. But that's the big difference between the extrusive and intrusive rocks. The one that cools really fast, they will have small mini crystals, but they are so small that you think there are no crystals at all. Okay, but for those yeah. that cool down under the Earth's surface, they take longer time, so they make bigger crystals and more obvious. But they are not so many because they are so big, so we can see them. Okay. 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 Let me show you a picture. Okay, wait, not. So, Miss, which one was uh, better? Which one was what? Which one which was what? One, uh, uh, was better. Was better. Or it uh, succeeds. Both of them. Both of them are good. It's just a difference in how they look. <coughs> yeah, you know, one is better than the other. Okay. That's what I mean. Okay? If okay. you mean, like, is there one better than the other? No. Both of them are still igneous rocks, but one took a long time to make crystals, so that made them obvious, and the other one didn't. Yeah. So here, guys, if I zoomed into these two pictures, if you can see. Okay, again, let me zoom more. Can you guys see this? Yeah. Can you, can you see the upper one, how it's made up of crystals? Like, you can see. Yeah, it has uh, dots. Yes? It has dots. Points. It has dots, yes. Can you see them? Hold. Yes. No, holes, but, uh, just, yes, it, it contains holes, holes because this is biomic biomic yes. uh, uh, rock. If you guys know it, they, it's it, people use it to exfoliate their uh, their feet or their skin to yes, get rid I of their swear. skin. Yeah, but yeah. this one, as you can see, contains just one color. Like you can see any difference in the in the crystals. Yeah. Yes. Look, look at this picture up there. Intrusive. Let, let's look at this picture up there, but just let me zoom out. Okay, here is an extrusive. You can you think that it has no crystals. You'd think that. But actually, if we zoomed into it, you will see it has small crystals. But they are so small that you think it's plank. It doesn't contain any crystals. You cannot see with your eyes. Exactly, yes. But look at the intrusive. You can see different minerals in this rock. You can see different colors. Can you see them? Remember when we said, what is a rock? We said it's a mineral mixture. It's made up of many minerals. Yes. Yes. A mineral is actually made up of only one thing or only one element has its own chemical structure. But rocks are made up of many minerals, like, a, 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 you know, a, a mix of minerals. Can you give the minerals? The minerals, they will not appear if they cooled really fast. I will not be able to see them like in the extrusive here. But if I give them enough time to cool down, I will see huh, different minerals inside the same rock. Can you see that? Can you guys see that? Yes. Yeah. yes. Okay. So yes. basically both of those minerals, if you believe, I'm sorry, both of those rocks, if you believe it or not, are made up of the same things. Like they are close to each other. But one of them huh, was cooled down or solidified on the Earth's surface, while the other one 
cool down under the Earth's surface. So that's why it took longer time. And that's why it has more crystals or bigger crystals. So now you get it. Do you now get it, guys? Do you have any questions about this part? Guys, do you still no. have any questions? No. I mean, if you still have a problem, you can tell me. It's okay. Let's have to ask you something. Yes. Can the, can the, can the intrusive mineral mm. have the same amount of water as the extrusive? But the extrusive will have bigger minerals? You mean bigger crystals? Yeah, yeah. Yes, uh, you mean? Yeah. Okay, let me just repeat the question. So you mean that could the intrusive and extrusive be made up of the same minerals? But no, in no, intrusive, no. I can see the minerals more? No, I mean like and then the intrusive may have the same amount of minerals. I mean, of crystals. Yes, uh, as but, the yes but with obvious crystals, is that what you mean? Yeah. Yes. Yes, they could be. Actually, if you looked in here, you will find that this one is made up of feldspar. This one is also made up of feldspar. But in here, you cannot see it between the crystals because they are small ones small crystals but in here yeah, you can actually good. differentiate between the different crystals or the different minerals that makes up this rock yes okay so now we get to what you asked for yeah okay so guys do you have any questions before moving into the worksheet we oui. no do you guys have any questions okay we'll no. have just a quick questions no. today uh, we'll not uh, finish all of them today because we'll have some of them as a homework. Okay? No. I love science homework. It's, it's just okay, choosing. Yeah. So do not yeah, feel sad for those who are sad about the homework. It's not. It's only choosing. So you will not take a long time to do it. Okay? This is the first homework in two terms. Something. No, we got homeworks before. Oh, people did. Let's yeah, yeah. like a little what name. Yeah. How, you how don't give us a lot of homework. I mean. Yes, I know. I like doing worksheets with you because I feel it's a lot better. Who's, okay, guys, I will use this spinner now. Yes. Who should not must raise his head? Yeah, uh, yeah, you can raise your hand if you answered. So if I picked yes, you already yes. in this uh, spinner wheel. Uh, you can raise your hand after this, so I know who didn't answer, like, before. Okay? Okay. 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 So okay. let's start with the first name. Aysel Fahla. Do um, you have Aysel with us now? Aysel. Aysel? Yes, Aysel. Aysel, can you hear us? Yes. Okay, Aysel, are you okay? Are you feeling well? Aysel, are you feeling well? Yes, I can't hear. Because we cannot hear your voice well. Are you okay? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Do you want to answer? If you're not feeling okay, it's it's okay if you um no, if you don't feel well. I feel well. I don't have anything. You don't have what? She so doesn't have anything. Well. No, okay. Sick. Okay. He's not sick. So let me zoom into the question so we can see it in here. Miss, okay. I want to ask something. Yes. The love and the magma are both um, the same thing. like each other in the picture. Well, the difference between lava and magma is their possession. Where do you find them? Do you guys know this game called the floor is, is lava? Yeah. Yes. Why don't yes. we say yes. the floor is magma? Why do we say because floor is lava? Because, because, magma is lava under, because, because the lava is uh, coming uh, from uh, underground. Because the magma is uh, beneath the earth's crust. No, because the magma is out of the volcano now. So it's lava. Okay. A lot of you said the right question. Because magma is the, mel or is the melted rock under the earth's surface. Once yes. it comes on the Earth's surface, now we call it lava. Lava. Yes. Okay. That's why we say the floor is lava, not the floor is magma. 
So when you see the, the magma coming out from the volcano, and now you see it on the Earth's surface, in this case, we call it lava. It's not magma anymore. Lava. This was my okay. system. Was my but if we uh, miss, but if uh, in the volcano from inside, we call it magma. Yeah, exactly. Yes, from the inside. Yes. That's right. Okay, I so would you like uh, the first question is already answered. I mean, what do you think we'll call we'll call this one? This picture. I am using my hand for Yes, Isel. This is lava. Yes, this is lava because you can see it on the earth's surface. You can see people standing right there. I don't know how they are doing this, but I'm uh, They are so brave. <laughs> yes, they are so brave. Okay, let's move to the next question. If we, uh... Now we have, uh, da, 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 da. let's see, Ziad, I think Ziad is not with us today, right? Yeah, yeah, Ziad is not here. Ziad doesn't even attend the session, so you can be here. Me or Amr. Amr doesn't attend, yes. Okay, uh, Yusuf. Yusuf and Naqib. Yusuf? Yusuf and Naqib, would you like to answer this one, yeah, Yusuf? Yes, he's here. Yusuf, would you like yeah. to answer number two? He's just think here, about but... the, the, the answer. You don't have to say it right, yani, but just think about it. Okay? Yes, miss. Okay, Yusuf. Yes, so yes. it says here, organic yes. rocks are made from heat, hmm. made when water evaporates and minerals crystallize, which means like can you be, become crystals, or made... <laughs> from the remains of dead animals and plants or made from pieces of other rocks. What do you think when I say the word organic? What do you think, yeah, Yusuf? Um, when I said organic? Hmm. Unless it's uh, A. A, made from heat? <laughs> Guys, whoever is yawning, do not yawn in the mic. Again, organic, yeah, Yusuf. Well, thank you for يعني, thinking about this question. Oh, yeah. But organic actually means something that was once living or living things. So when I say this rock, for it's example, rich. has some remains of dead plants and animals, in this case, we call it organic rocks. So it's going to be C. It's made from the remains of dead animals and plants. Yes. Okay. This is what we mean by organic. Okay, Yusuf? But thank you for trying anyway. Thank you so much. Okay. Now let's move to Selim. Okay, Selim. I will answer number three and then you can answer number four. Okay. Miss, can I guess the answer? Who wants to guess the answer? Is this Salim? Um, okay, um, yes, you can me, guess the answer. Me. B Brika? Okay, but just we need to read the question first. Number three, what is an example of an organic rock? Call Miss, you did. Or, uh, Miss, yeah. Salim is not with us. Salim is not with us? This is... Okay. Yes. Okay. Miss, we didn't take an organic rock, yes? We're learning about it right now. This is for your own information. It's not found in the textbook, but this is just for your own knowledge, okay? Miss Kanai. So, Ami, um, you wanted to guess. I think it's Brika. The answer is Okay, told. you said Brika. Other one? Do we have any, any other uh, answers? Cold. Yes? Cold. I have. I Cold. Huh. Cold. Who else? Rock salt. Rock salt, okay. So thank you guys for these answers, amazing answers actually. Uh, thank you for even trying. This is a good, a good point. Uh, but it's coal. This is the yes, I right think answer that. because actually this one contains carbon that comes out from the remains of dead plants and animals. Do you know that? Miss, I said that. Yes. Thank you guys for mentioning it and thank you for trying to answer it for guessing. Yes, it. Miss, and you say it yesterday. You say it. Yes, miss. yes, thank you guys. Thank you for, for doing it. Okay, now we have number four. Let me pick someone else other than Slim because he's not with us today. <clears throat> Oday. I think we have Oday because I, I admitted him at the beginning of the session. Oday? Uh, 
Okay, are they? Number four, can you read the question and try to try to answer it? Okay. Okay. Small pebbles, pieces of rocks and sand are called. Yeah. Uh, I know. Okay. Sediment. Exactly. Yes, that's what we call sediments. Okay. Some of these questions, guys, you will see them again in lesson three because uh, today we will have an introduction of lesson three. So this is kind of introduction to what do we mean by sediments and kind of the rock cycle. So yes, it is the sediments. That's what we call the small pieces of rocks, actually. Okay, that's what we call small pieces yes. of rocks. That's what we call them sediments. And this is where the word sedimentary rocks come from. Thank you so much, Auday. Now let's move to the next one. Welcome. Okay, we have Omar, Omar Khalid. He's not here. He's not here, right? I didn't No, he's Omar here. with us today. Yes, he's with us. Okay, Omar, can you oh. try to answer number five, Yamal? Okay. Okay. What characteristic yeah. To uh, uh, do sedimentary rocks often have supposed to be do in here, huh? Can you read the choices and big one? Uh, red layers. Okay, read all of them, Habibi. Now the the weather patterns. It's number five. Do you know which question are we uh, doing? Number five. Number five, yes. So it says, what characteristics or features do sedimentary rocks often have? So do they have weather patterns? Like, uh, yani they are broken down into different patterns. Or tiny crystals, small crystals. Or stripped lines, like they have layers and layers. This is what we mean. Or is, do they have glassy surfaces? What do you think of sedimentary rocks? Can you remember them from yesterday? Mm -hmm. uh, if you know the answer, you can say it. If you want to guess the answer, it's okay. If you don't know the answer, it's also okay. Stripped layers. Stripped layers. Yes, well yes. done. That was so obvious about the sedimentary rocks. They made up of layers of sediments that press against each other to make a rock. Thank you so much, Alma. Okay, now let's okay. move to the next one. Zane. Zane? Zane, Zane is with us. Yes, Zane. Are you with us, yeah, Zane? Yes, I'm here. Would you like to answer number six? Yeah, okay. Okay. Try to read the question, please. Rock formed by heat and pressure. Sedimentary yes. metamorphic <laughs> extrusive or intrusive? Extrusive English and intrusive. Uh -huh. Yes, what do you think? The answer is in heat and pressure. Can you guess? I know it's. I know something from igneous. Mm, do you think igneous is actually made by heat and pressure? No, no, no. It's okay. Huh? Do you want to pass this question? Metamorphic. Metamorphic. Yes. We said that metamorphic rocks are made up from heat and pressure, oh, but still they do not melt. But what if they melt it? Oh. In this case, they will be igneous rocks. They will turn yeah. into igneous rocks. Okay. Sedimentary rocks are made up of sediments, so they are not actually included in the heat and pressure, weathering and erosion. Yes. Thank you so much, Zane. Now let's move to someone else. I want you to guess this one too. Okay. We have Kinsey. Kinsey, can you answer number seven? Uh, why not me? Miss, miss okay, this, your name uh, will come. doesn't like me. Miss, no miss, one miss doesn't, doesn't has like you. me. Guys, tomorrow, inshallah, I will try another way, not the spin wheel, but another way. And maybe you will like it more because this one will have all the names, but just in a list. You will see them. Okay, miss, now we have, we have answer. Kinsey. We have Please. Kinsey. Miss. Yes, Kinsey, can you answer number seven? I want okay. you to look at this rock. Okay. I'm zooming into this picture so we can see the rock. Can you mm, tell me this is, is granite? This is granite. Can you guess whether it's an extrusive igneous or intrusive igneous? Just from its picture. Intrusive. Yes. Wait. The picture. 
Miss, what mean intrusive and extrusive? Who's asking this question? Miss, can I say for him? Okay, but just who's asking this question? Are they? Are yes, they? Where were you all this time? Intrusive, are they? I, I was here. Just it's... wait a second, wait a second. Kinsey, what was the answer, please? Intrusive. Intrusive. Well done. Yes, because we can see the minerals. We can see different crystals. I can see some black crystals, some uh, kind of uh, white ones, some gray ones. So that means I can see the crystals. I can differentiate between them with my own eyes. So that makes them intrusive. So who wanted to tell uh, Uday what we mean by intrusive and extrusive? Um, 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 yes, you can tell him the difference. But first, both of them are igneous Uday. Okay, but listen to the difference. Yes, Amu, you can tell him. Intrusive igneous is the igneous uh, under the ground. Yes. Extrusive igneous, it's the igneous on the on earth, on the surface. On earth's surface, yes. Thank you so much, Amu. Yes, that's nice. Yes. Hey, thank uh, you, Amr. Pussy out day. Listen. So in the extrusive, it's okay. I know it can be a little bit confusing all day. It's okay. It's not bad to in manner inside the world. Uh, yeah, so yesterday we said intrusive. It means inside. Like if you looked at this picture in here, just let me show it to you. This one here. Okay. Okay. Now we have a volcano with the magma underneath and the lava on the surface okay you will see that some of this magma will come out on the surface which we call lava then it will cool down cool down because of the air and wind and stuff like that when it cools down it will harden and become a rock which is an igneous rock can you hear us can you hear me all day yes yes miss yes, yes. okay when it cooled down that fast, we called it extrusive igneous rock. Extrusive igneous, igneous rock. rock. Because that means it cooled down on the surface of the earth. And it cooled down really yeah. fast. Okay? That's why they have small crystals. But we all still lived with some magma under the ground where it will also cool down with time, but it will take longer time to cool down. We call this intrusive igneous rock, like inside the earth's surface. Or inside the earth. Can you see that? Yes. Now make a difference between intrusive and extrusive. Yes. Extrusive is in the earth and the surface of the earth. Yes. And, and, and extrusive is, um, yes. is, is under the earth's ground. Earth's surface. Yes, that's right. And you remember yes. intrusive inside. Intrusive inside. Both of them inside. are igneous rocks. So both of them are made up of magma. But one of them is made up of lava, yes. which is on the sur the surface, the sur uh, the sorry, <laughs> the surface of the earth, and the other one is made up under the ground. Well done, yeah, all day. Yes. Okay. Um, Thank you, Miss. You're welcome, Habib. Okay, guys. I'm um, sorry, it's not this one. Okay. Let me zoom out now. Okay, that was the last question in this page. So this one, as Kinsey said, if you look looked at this one, Yaudai, you will see how obvious the crystals are in this one. You can see different crystals. Can you see them? So that means that this yes, one... Yes, we have uh, more than color. Yes, it has more than one color. Guys, if this meeting ends, can you please come back just for one thing so I can tell yes. you one thing? Okay. Okay. So, okay. Uh, yes, okay. You, can, you can see here many colors. That makes it intrusive yes. that means it took longer time to form these crystals yes. so it was made under the ground so well done yeah Miss they like are understanding uh, this part Miss like uh, the more we have color the more we take time uh, to be cold yes it more it will 